most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life what's up my love bugs and love muffins it's mama love and i am back finally with another video and i have a special shout out to my girl wanda pilot i want to say wanda pilot that's your name on um youtube hey y'all what's been up i just want to tell y'all sorry for my absence i've been gone um i know for a while i ain't been making no videos or nothing like that but i've just been really busy um a lot of different things have come up um um basically i'm job searching as well um i am also taking tina back and forth to work because my girl got a job okay i'm so proud of her She's doing really well in school. Terrell was doing really well in school. Um, but Tina, when she hit 18, January 4th, my baby, she was just ready to go to work. So, um, as y'all know, our social security cards and everything had got stolen. We just now really got all them things replaced and everything like that. So I was able to get their social security cards. Um, I got their picture IDs, Michigan State IDs. So they're happy and excited about that. So she wanted to take and put it to work. And I think the same day, that Tina got her Michigan State IDs the same day that Tina went to work. So she wasn't playing. So um, I'm, I'm proud of her in that area because uh, she's getting it how she lives. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm not going to hold y'all up no longer. Um, I went on my live today and I was talking to y'all. I was telling you about the gift. I'm always appreciative and grateful of my um, subscribers. I really appreciate you all who follow me. Um, I thank y'all for y'all love and support continuously. How y'all always um, have uh, given me words of encouragement. So um, I just want to say that, you know, I'm truly grateful for everything that um, you all ever do for me. And um, I gave it, it was Dee Thomas. I gave a shout out the last time. She she got me those necklaces. It was so pretty. I still wear them. But I have this, you all. And I, and I said in the car, I'm not going to open this box until... I'm gonna open this in front of y'all. I got to be honest, I did not wait for y'all. I'm sorry, cause something, you know, I had my sister in the car with me and she was like, what's in the box? So me and her kind of shared the moment together. I, I wish I would have opened it in front of you all so y'all could have gotten my first reaction, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This would be my second reaction to it, but it's still in awe of, and I'm still in awe of what this Wanda did for me what not what this Wanda, what this person this subscriber Wanda did for me and i am truly grateful i'm telling y'all i'm always grateful for every little thing which i know about me i always say cards are special and before i open uh up the gift to show you all the gifts i always read the card but this in here is her own personal letter to me hold on y'all i got to keep it real i can't see and these glasses are dirty and um Yes, you are. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all gonna love each other, self, okay? Um, I can see. All right, so this is the letter that she wrote me, and it was a smiley face on here when I first opened up the box. A smiley face. Um, and um, blah, 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 blah. it's a smiley face. I'm gonna get to it, y'all. But I got, I gotta read this letter, you all. Okay, so the letter she wrote to me says, thank you, Miss Bulls, for being who you are. I truly enjoyed your YouTube channel. I feel like I met you and family. At times I get angry at how the media talks bad about you and your family. I just love you and your family. My daughter loves Queen. Terrell and Tina are so funny. They need more videos together. God bless you, your friend Wanda. Wanda, and she left me her number as well. I'm going to give her a call. She's special. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for that. That, that, to me, that, uh, I, I'm, I really appreciate the letter itself when somebody is so kind to see, because, you know, you have a lot of people that, um, everybody is so quick to believe a lie all the time. Everybody want to see the negative about you. It don't matter what good you do, um, how you and your family may come together and squash things. You know, you got people that hate that's hating on that. They don't want to see a family come together. Um, or perhaps because some of them don't have mothers. 
uh, their mother, they don't have a mother and daughter relationship or they don't have a family relationship with their family or maybe they just didn't have the type of setup and it's jealousy and stuff like that. So you can't expect stuff like that. But Wanda, I thank God that, you know, I have grew strong past a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? And I always tell myself, you know what, well, what are you so upset about? Because the things they say about you, if it's not true, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things I have to take to God myself because I felt like, okay, my character is just out here just getting tainted. People are going to think what they think. And like Queen said, social media is just going to be social media. They're going to take things bad way. They're going to they're gonna make bad out of it regardless of how far or how much you try to clear things up. They're, they're gonna, just going to do it. they just going to they're gonna have something bad to say. If they like you, they like you. Next week, they don't. Next week, they're going to hate your guts. I mean, that's just how social media is. And that's why we always say social media is the devil. You know, he behind that. But we go, I'm thankful for that letter because, you know, that just, just says, you know, and it's just from one subscriber, but it means a lot, you know, for her to say, I'm sorry for what you and your family goes through. Thank you for that, Wanda, so much. I really appreciate your words. Now, I got to get into what, I just got to get into this gift, y'all. I'm going to start off with the, I opens it up to a beautiful smile and then a beautiful letter. Uh, the pictures that she drew with a little smiley face. But then I, I opened it up and she got all these different colors. Twizzlers, y'all. You know, Tina and Terrell automatically wanted to jump on these when they saw this box. Okay. I'm like, hold up. Hold up. Uh, I will share, but I just wanted to let me show my love up first. Let me show them. So this is that. And this is what she she did. I have two of, two of these. And I love coffee. And this is, look at this. That's me and my, she got one, she got the picture of me, and then she's got me and all three of my kids, and then she's got CJ. Now, let me explain about this. They're both the same. Let me explain about this before y'all go in, because I already know what y'all going to say. She um, bought me these gifts. I'm just not receiving these. She uh, had these made for me and got this for me back when I was in... Georgia and Queen was still pregnant and um, it's what we, when we first moved to Georgia y'all when we first moved there she was saying you need to get a P.O. box I need your address so she waited this long she waited this long so this is why Chewy ain't on there Grand Chewy because of course Grand Chewy would have been on there but since she's just now she made these now she made these and uh back when I was in Georgia uh, back in the summertime of last year, these cups for me. This is what she held on to for the longest, okay, for me. And when she finally got a hold of me, I think, I know I was on here, she's got my P.O. box because when I first got on here, I said, I got a P.O. box, y'all. She said, what is it? And she had just been, I don't know, she was in my comments saying, did you get it yet? Did you get your pack? I'm like, I ain't got no package. But Dawn don't me, duh, it's like not your mailbox. I was like, you know what, y'all, I have forgot all about I had a P.O. box. So this is what she did. She sent those two uh, beautiful coffee cups. And I, you know what? And she picked the perfect picture. I love this picture of me, y'all. Yeah. And, and, and actually, this, I don't know, but she been had these cups made, y'all. These cups match my blanket that Queen bought me for uh, Christmas. It has... This, believe it or not, this picture is on here and this picture is on here and my blanket is pink and white and in black it says, we love you, mom. I don't know if I remember that blanket, but I showed y'all the blanket and these coffee cups match the blanket. Queen got me a pink Ugg robe and Ugg slippers. Pink Ugg robe and slippers. A pink coffee cup that says, mom, you're the best. Everything was just in pink. So what I'm saying is these are in pink. So Wanda on point. She had already had these though. But this is what Wanda took and did that just blew me back. She added this, y'all. This is how thoughtful she was. Look at this. Now you tell me that's not beautiful. And on the front and back. You tell me that's not an adorable picture of my grandbabies. It's a pillowcase, y'all. It's a pillowcase. And she had to have watched... My uh, video, I didn't show the video. I, I showed the blanket on, on a, a, a community post. And this is, this, this is a pillowcase. And it matches the blanket that Queen got me for Christmas.
Aren't they adorable? Y'all. She just out, she, I mean, she just outdid herself. And it's the, it's the same type of material as my blanket. I just got the whole set, y'all. I mean, let me tell y'all something. No amount of uh, fabric, uh, I don't care who, Martha Stewart, whoever, ain't got nothing on this. Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, JC Pennies. You could go in there and you can find beautiful uh, uh, pillow sets. You could go in there and you can look, find uh, beautiful blankets. Um, you name it, uh, bed in a bag, uh, all of that. And and you can find these from all these elegant stores and stuff like that. But ain't no amount of money, nothing, that's going to cost, nothing suffices this. Nothing. Nothing. You hear me? Nothing you will find in that store that the fabric, I don't care if it's made out of gold with, with diamond uh, rhinestones in it. it it's not. It's not going to be a beautiful pillowcase like this. It's not going to be a beautiful blanket like that. You can go over into your, your 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 dishes and stuff and and get all the beautiful coffee cups you want, but it's not gonna amount to that. It's priceless. This is priceless, you all. And so I just want to say I'm greatly appreciative of the letter, the coffee, two coffee cups. I could even have a friend over y'all drink coffee with me. <laughs> anyway, um priceless though. No, no, no amount of money whatsoever can nothing i'm sorry i'm sorry honey you could you could get your stuff from uh have it imported from uh india france italy it don't matter you know what i'm saying nothing's going to out top that pillowcase nothing's going to out top that blanket i'm great i'm grateful for you wanda i truly thank and appreciate you and i love you for that um also, I wanted to touch bases on some things. I wanted to hit on the nail on something, y'all. I had to add this. I have to add this because it's um, <clears throat> been on my chest and my heart to get off. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody, you know, is going on about. Um, I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to call names. But anything. I just want to put it like this. Put it short because I'm going around the bush trying to figure out how I should say it. But I'm just going to come out and say it. Um, Whenever a family member comes out or come forth or whatever, I don't care whether it's my mother or a cousin or a, any, anybody in my family. I don't care who it is. If it's something that is negative said about Queen, I'm going to need for y'all to stop coming for me and Tina and Terrell. I'm going to need for that to stop happening. Okay? Because... I feel like whatever me and Queen was going through, that's between me and my daughter, and that's in the past. Um, we have come together. We have squashed that stuff. Um, that stuff is old. Um, we ain't even brought it back up. Um, everybody doing what they do. Everybody got to understand it now. This is the way it's going to be. This is uh, uh, what I expect. This is what uh, she expect. This is what, and we come together, agreeance upon that. And that's good, but everybody else needs to leave that alone because at, at the end of the day, we are family, we are human, and it does not matter about anybody else's opinion. Now, if we moved on and further and, and the, day, the sisters talk, and which I'm glad that my children are talking because at the end of the day, Queen's immediate family is only me and her brother and her sister at the end of the day, okay? She had, it's, it's us. So when y'all say things like, uh, Queen's family is so messy and toxic. Y'all talking about us three because the simple fact that I have a very large family of uh, aunts, uncles, cousins, or whatever. Um, every time somebody want to come forth and say something negative or, you know, lies and say things, um, I'm not behind that. So I have to make that clear. Don't come for me. Don't come on my channel. Like, I started it all, doing all. I ain't start nothing. You know, I have to say this because it's tiresome and I'm not going to keep um, being beat over the head and bashed about things that has not even taken place. Like I said, I'll go back and say it again. Like, name a video, pull up a video where I bash my daughter. I never have, okay? And I never will, okay? Um, we have, a, every, every family got, uh, you know, problems. 
Um, they have their ups and downs, but they come together as a family. Uh, I have never taken advantage of Queen. I have never um, bashed Queen. I never put Queen down. If anything, I pushed Queen. I pushed her from, from um, talent shows to American Idol uh, and, and gave her that confidence and that push that she needed to where she is today. Um, I would never say anything to hurt Queen. If I have anything I have ever said to Queen was always from a mother's point of view. It was always advice. Um, and I have that guy given right. You know, if I raised her a certain way and she, you know, she goes off her own way, then I, I can give her advice if I'd like. Now, what she choose to do with it as a grown woman, I have to roll with those punches too. You know what I'm saying? And if she choose to roll whatever she wants to roll with her life, she is a grown woman. But don't bash and come for me and say, um, let her live her life, uh, especially when I step back and have done that. You know what I'm saying? Or, and second of all, when I had birthed her. Because at the end of the day, if anything was to happen to her, they calling me. I'm going to get that call. So I, I have that God-given right to give her that mother's advice. Okay? And I have stepped back and I have not said anything about it. You know? But I got to say something about it because it gets out of hand. And it's, it's like I'm this deadbeat mother that ain't been in her life. And I come along and I want all this money. And I want, um, uh, you know, uh, whatever she got. And that's not true. I simply wanted my daughter's time. I simply missed my daughter. And everything got conscrewed and misconscrewed and everything. And it's like, I'm not going to sit there and take the bashing of that no more. Especially when me and her had to get an understanding of that. I never took advantage of my daughter and all of this type of stuff. You know, um, my cousin um, Carlos came forth and said some things that he shouldn't have said um, because they were not true. Um, first of all, Carlos is my first cousin. I have to explain that because it was not explained well. Um, everybody was just kind of throwing it out there. And I did not say anything about it because Queen did not address it first. But since Queen had already addressed it, I'm going to address it further because I feel like that's my cousin. Um, Carlos is my first cousin. Um, he is a second cousin to Queen. Uh, the way that me and Carlos are cousins is, um, my mother and his father are brothers and sisters. Um, his father is not dead. However, my uncle is very sick right now. Um, I, I heard that he has lung cancer. Okay. And, um, so the picture that, um, Martin Lewis showed was not, uh, his father. Oh, uh, that was my uncle Johnny, his brother, my, uh, his dad's brother that passed away. And it, he said that he was like a dad to him, but my uncle Carl is still living. And that is my mother's, uh, uh, brother. Yeah. So, um, but, um, the incident with that is I felt like, um, I, I saw everything that was being said. Um, uh, I kept silent about it because I was asked to, uh, to not, you know, say nothing. Uh, mom, I'll, I'll talk about it, but she talked about it a little bit. So now I'm addressing it. Um, I feel like the fact that, um, I, he has not seen queen since queen was 10 years old and he, um, came and stayed in my house in the summertime. And which I don't understand, Carlos, because I feel like, Carlos, if you had something to say, um, you didn't have to lie. I felt like you could have reached out to me like you used to do. You know, I, I got an inbox from you. I can show it from 2014 where you inboxed me out of nowhere and was like, hey, cuz, I'm going through some stuff. I need you to talk to me because you're the only one who keep it 100. And I, and I had some advice to give you back. And it was about God. You was going through some struggles at the time. I felt like watching your videos and stuff like that. I was very angry with you because I felt like out of, out of, out of my mother's seven siblings and 32 something cousins, not even naming the great, uh, uh, the, uh, the grandchildren and I'm, not, I'm naming the grandchildren of my grandmother, 32 something cousins. And I'm not even counting the great grandchildren. I just wanted to know why out of, of all those family members, why you come for my, my kids. You know what I'm saying? Why you come for mine? And um, that bothered me. But as I further looked on to it, you know, by me having the heart that I have, um, I understand that you have some issues. You know, you have some issues and you admitted it. You know, you said, I got, I got some issues going on, uh, blah, blah, blah. But I just feel like that's not your way to make it to the top. You could have reached out to me like you've been reaching out to me. But I don't think you reached out to me because the last time, uh, the last time the words had, you called me out my name. And it was a concern for... Uh, again, like my mother takes care of your father. Um, and I guess she asked you about some monies or whatever. And 
you got kind of loud with my mother and disrespectful and I heard you on the phone, so I got on the phone. Then you disrespected me. So I believe that's just why you didn't, you know, come and at me like you did. I mean, reach out because you knew the last time we talked, well, I disrespected her. You know what I'm saying? But ain't nothing wrong with apologizing to somebody and reaching out because I ain't got the type of heart that when you come at me, I'm a forgiving person. I'm a type of person that, you know, hey, Reva, I wronged you. I said this, you know, I apologize. I'm sorry. There's many a times that me and a family member have fell out and they have came back to me and apologized. I don't hold grudges and stuff. It's, it's many subscribers have, or people uh, uh, hate, uh, I'm gonna say trolls that have came and DM me and apologize and I and I've forgiven them. You know, I ain't never said don't don't come in here saying nothing to me. Don't don't even don't inbox me now. Don't say nothing. You know, now to me and my daughter cool and all that. Don't come saying I never did. I always had the heart to forgive. And I just felt like that you could have reached out to me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you was going through, just like you was going through before, uh when Queen was 10 years old and you came and stayed at my house. I reached out to you. I reached out to you out of all them cousins. Okay, and you got and you got some brothers and sisters, you know. I, one sister I reached out to you, you know what I'm saying. But I reached out to you out of all them cousins. It was me, you know. And I just felt like, why would you, why would you try to sabotage my daughter, regardless of what we go through? I would never sabotage my daughter. And I know you got a little girl, which is my little second cousin too. I mean, I just wonder how you would feel if I came at your little girl. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter how old your kids get. Them is always your kids. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like she didn't deserve that. You know, the last time I said you lay eyes on Queen when Queen was 10. 10 and 12 was little. You know what I'm saying? I think you stayed at my house. I don't know if it was a month or two to keep it real. And then after that, I don't know. You had moved over with your sister and then you didn't get along. Ain't nobody ever just, um, you know, came at you because you was, because I, I, I'm dark skinned. Now go on with, go on with that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't never uh, uh, came in nobody's color. I ain't never been a color struck person because, baby, everybody know it happened to me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got along with my three kids because I wasn't going to have nobody making differences of Queen and Tina. One light and one dark. Making Tina feel like trash and Queen feel like the beauty queen. You know, that's why I got away. So I know how that feel. And then plus how I was done. I wasn't light enough. My hair wasn't silky enough. So don't come with the, the dark skin. Don't use that when it comes to me. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that cut that cut bitter to the bone. I ain't never been that type of person. Everybody know I love dark meat. It's beautiful, baby. I I wouldn't I wouldn't have it no other way. Alright? Black is beautiful. And I don't care if black is an ace of spade, black with a purple cast, black with a green cast. It don't matter. Dark brown, black is beautiful, baby. And I will say that. Give me a black man any day. Dark skin, preferably. Okay? I ain't never been a color struck person. So that right there, you just lost me with that. I just felt like you could have reached out to me. You know what I'm saying? Or even, I don't know, maybe you, I ain't going to say you could have reached out to Queen because she's busy. You know, not the fact that she thinks she all of that, but she's busy all the time and she just go, go, go. I can't even have talk to her because she's busy, you know, but I just felt like me as her mother, you could have reached out to me. You right there on Facebook, you could have came for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm having these issues. I need this or I, I need, I need somebody to talk to. I'd have been right there because it looked like you going through some stuff. I don't know what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? But me as a Christian, I'm not going to sit here and, and condemn you. But I was angry at you. It's like, Lord, please help me. I would look at, at, at the videos you had and them lies that you was telling. And I'm like, God, please help my heart. Please help my heart. Because it's bad enough that we out here getting uh, bashed by some trolls that you can't you can't see their picture. You can't, you can't see their name. You don't even know where they live. And they talking all this smack. You know what I'm saying? But to see your own family member, and I'm like, okay, so I know so he in Flint or he is in Holly, and I'm down, I'm, I'm inboxing cousins like, where he at? Where's Carlos at? Where is he at? You know, them, them ones that's, you know, in Holly and Flint. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I DM them because I wanna know your whereabouts. You know, I know that you out here in Michigan somewhere with me. You know, that's how I felt. And I had to pray to God like, why? Why don't you just, why don't you just come to me? Why don't you just inbox me and talk? What's going on? I've always been there for you. 
You know what I'm saying? And yeah, no, you didn't grow up around the family, but you can't blame us cousins for that. You can't blame us for what our parents may have done or whatever their decisions may have been. You know what I'm saying? You can't blame the cousins for that because we was kids too. And everybody feel like they're the black sheep in this family. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be the black sheep. You know, I can say all that. I'm the black sheep. You the black sheep. Okay, we all black sheep. But all black sheep, we can't get together and blame each other. So whatever your father did and your mother and father been through, I feel like, I, I feel like you need to get some counseling and take that up with them. Don't take it out on my daughter. You know, she ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way I felt. So with that being said, I I'm going to let that go. Um, I feel like uh, you, you, you want a platform or something. I, I don't know what you're after, but I just feel like you know where I'm at, Carlos. Get at me. Get at me. You know what I'm saying? Get at me. I have no problem with it. I ain't got no problem talking to you, uh, consulting with you. Um, we can even meet up and talk because I don't know. They saying you in the hotel. I mean, I don't know what's up. All I know is, don't, don't, don't come bash my daughter. But at the same time, you see a, a, a lost, long family member out there that's going through like what you're going through. Let somebody know. You know what I'm saying? And put down that weapon. That was stupid because you can mess around and get yourself in trouble with that one. You can get charged off the strength of the, waving that gun and, and threatening life. To, I just wanted to say that, and I'm going to let this thing go, and uh, I'm not going to go on any further about it, but I just had to address you on that um, to let you know that the Christian that I am, just even though in spite of however we're supposed to love anyway, um, you are not out there by yourself. You just have to reach out to the right people and um, get some help and, and get somebody to get with somebody that's going to get you some help. Because like I said, we all been there and we all, we, we, we done that before. Okay. So I just want to say that and I just want to say thank you again, Wanda, for the special gift. Love all y'all, my love bugs. I'll probably have more content out if I'm not so busy or whatever. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.